Hello and welcome to Horror Drum. Today we'll be working on our Damascus steel billet. As you can see, it is it is a finished billet of Damascus. It's a uh, eleven layer Damascus for now, uh, but that will increase. So the plan for this billet is to make a hunting knife, which I haven't designed yet, but I will. And, uh, Fun part, this is not going to be just straight up Damascus, it's going to be checkerboard Damascus or chessboard Damascus. Same thing, right? So, the plan for today is to try to elongate this billet this way to make it longer, a bit thinner, and then I'm going to cut this billet into pieces and re weld it in a Damascus pattern, which will be chessboard. So if this billet is for now with just straight lines, right? The plan is to cut those straight lines and line them up so you can see like you know there is one like you know piece that goes this way and the one next to it goes the other way and then they you know switch and switch and switch just like a chessboard. So I hope that will be cool. I haven't tried doing anything you know other than straight up Damascus before. So this is a bit of a challenge for me, um, and the first step in, you know, today's project is to just weld up a nice long rod to this, so I can hold on to it without any use of, you know, blacksmithing tongs and stuff like that, because that's um, unnecessary. And then fire up our onion power hammer and um, try to elongate it. And without further ado, I think it's time to get straight into it. Alrighty, we got our finished billet with a uh, bar, and now it's time to put it into the forge. Uh, I'm not going to be filming the you know heating process because the forge is so loud you barely hear anything I say. So uh, I'll see you on the power hammer. Many, many minutes later. Ah, all right. As you can see, the billet got quite lo a bit longer than than from what we started off. Uh, unfortunately, I'm slowly running out of time, as I'm going to need to head out um, and do some music tutorship, which I do every Wednesday. And uh, well, 
I'm pretty, pretty pleased with how the work is going forward, especially with the hammer. I mean, this is such a big help to making things with steel. It's just amazing. But I've noticed a problem. I don't have a proper set of power hammer tongs. These are round stock tongs, which are, you know, meant for holding round things. These work, but they work like shit, basically. So I'm going to buy or make myself a set of power hammer tongs. But I'm pretty happy with this day's work. It's slowly going forward, but it's going forward, so I'm really happy with that. I thank you very much for watching this episode of Hammer Drum Blacksmithing. I hope you learned something or, you know, it was just fun to watch me hitting on steel and stuff like that. Remember to subscribe, leave a like. If you've got any questions, you know, feel free to comment on the video. And, uh, well, it's going to sound a bit strange this time, but as always, keep on riding.